Hey gang, it's your boy Scott. Deal of the week this week is an Airbnb vacation rental opportunity in Pismo Beach in the vacation rental zone. Walking distance to the beach. We're gonna take it all in here right after this. Hey gang, Scott Taylor, Broker Associate with Keller Williams Realty Central Coast here in Pismo Beach. Got a good opportunity for you here. I had a client of mine call me asking about an Airbnb opportunity, vacation rental in Pismo Beach. Uh, I've set up a search for them and we found this property that fit in the vacation rental zone. And so we did some research on it. He's decided he doesn't want it, so we have an opportunity for you if you're interested in a vacation rental in Pismo Beach. Now you will know that there's a moratorium on um, vacation, new vacation rentals in Pismo, other than those that are in condo complexes or that are zoned R4 or higher. This is a condo complex here. The HOA is, I think it's 199 a month. No, oh, excuse me, 150 a month. And so as an R4 zoning, it qualifies. All you need to do is get the business license and the things that you need to do with the city, but you can run this as a vacation rental. A vacation rental is one you don't have to live in. You don't have to be in it at any time on your own. You hire a company out or you can manage it yourself, put it on Airbnb. Uh, I don't know if you do VRBO, but any of those um, self-managed uh, vacation rental properties, it's in the vacation rental zone. Eventually you'll have a, a room fee. I think they're gonna treat them like hotels at some point, but at this point, it's just what the city demands and it's a business license and some of that. Price is seven seventy five. It's a two bedroom, two bath. There's one and one half bath and I'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. Uh, the location is on Franklin Street and the access to the beach is to Wilmar Street. So when I'm done touring the home, I'm just gonna zip around. We'll walk over there and see where that's at. It includes a two car garage downstairs, which I'll show you. And um, I just think it's a fantastic opportunity. It's priced a little high for a month to month rental, but uh, for a vacation rental, of course, you can pull the revenue out and it's March right now. So you have plenty of time to get it prepped and ready. I think it's probably ready right now. You might want to use some of the money after your first year of running it that way to uh, kind of fix it up a little bit, spruce it up, maybe modernize it a touch, but it's a nice unit. Uh, thank you in advance to Laura Hutchins with Keller Williams Realty. I think she's in Santa Barbara. Thank you for that, appreciate it. So let's take a look at it. <clears throat> so then the main entrance, the front door entrance is off of, there's four units in this complex. One, two, three, four. Okay. And uh, there's entrance off the street. If somebody wants to walk to the beach. We'll show you what that's gonna look like in a minute. You come in, there's a stairway up to the top where the bedrooms are, and then the, the meeting or family areas are down here. Coat closet. You can see they've done some improvements. It's got that, you know, um, plank flooring. I, I'm not sure if it's vinyl plank or if it's like a laminate, but either way. You go all the way up here. You can see they've got a skylight up there, so it brings in some of the natural light. We are near the freeway. It's like right across the street from this complex. But the uh, windows have been updated, as you can tell. I don't know if you can tell, but take a look at that. Um, it's vinyl windows, and so it's pretty darn quiet in here. Decent room. You can put a couch or something. Have a little table here for people to eat at. There's a three-quarter bath downstairs. Same flooring includes here. This is all kind of original here. Let me give you the stats on this. Two bedroom, one and a half bath. I guess three quarter bath, we would say. Uh, 700 square foot lot, 1,276 square foot interior. Under heat, as they say. There's a little dining sit out area. You've got a bar you can put a few chairs at. I think I would yank that thing out of there. They did put glass so you can see through it, but that's either a head smasher or it's gonna cut off cut off people's conversation space. Uh, for market countertops, again, it's clean enough that you could probably just go with it as it is if you plan on doing the Airbnb thing, like I recommend. Um, before we go upstairs, let's go down. So here's your, here's your view out the side. 
The driveway down below is where you would come in and park directly underneath the unit. Let me go show you the garage. Now, a lot of times with the Airbnb units, they like to have the two car garages and part of it is cordoned off for the owners. You'd have to figure out how to get a lockable cabinet of some sort to be able to keep your cleaning supplies and extra bedding down here, um, unless you could secure this area underneath the stairwell. Like they've done, extra flooring and some paint. But um, it's just two single car doors. A pretty good sized space back here. Put a few bikes, a surfboard, let your people take care of them. Um, it's a laundry down here, the thing with the Airbnb that I like is that nobody else gets a chance to do it right now. It's all on moratorium. So if you're like me, okay, uh, it does have wall heat upstairs and downstairs. Your upstairs bath is a separate sink and vanity. I didn't turn on those lights, but tub insert, fiberglass insert, but it's clean, super clean. All you'd really need is a, what, shower curtain? Another sink in here, set up as like a makeup area, big closet. Okay, so I'm a big master suite here. I would say 14 feet, maybe. Vaulted ceiling makes it feel even bigger. And your highway noise, let me be quiet. It's quiet, it's not whisper quiet, but it's, it's quiet. Uh, bedroom number two, nice good size closet. And then there's a little loft up here, which well, maybe I will see if I can, maybe I can stick my little, oh shit, no, look at that, pulled on that. Let's not do it. Scott is too big. <laughs> Let's see if I can hang this up there. All right, that's what it looks like. Man, that was sketchy. Imagine if I would have, you see that? If you buy this, please secure it. Tell me you'll secure that. Okay, so that's it. That's, uh, you know, it's 1,200 square feet or whatever. That's fine. Um, you have to do a little homework on it to see how much you'd make a nightly Airbnb. I mean, there's all kinds of software and websites and stuff like that you can do to try and figure that out. Let's go outside. So your patrons, your who are staying here, would either head out the garage door over there and then walk, but we're all going to end up on the same sidewalk. You don't have direct beach access on Franklin Street. What's up? <laughs> you could walk down and watch the waves break, but there's no direct access to the beach down there. Here at Franklin and Pacific Coast Highway. Now these stairs at Wilmar Street are legendary for fitness fanatics. They love to run the stairs, walk the stairs, put a kettlebell at the bottom, carry it up to the top. Looks like the waves are pretty good. Not bad for an afternoon. You know, some of the weather we've been having, it's just been messy, messy, messy in the afternoon. But this is a great, uh, oh, look at this. Beach toy library. Turn in your toys. Low tide. It's not gonna be real good out there, but. There you go. So that's it, Franklin Street, um, I thought, it's just a fantastic opportunity. 775. It's been on the market now for three weeks. So not long enough really to have a big discount. But 
you know, you don't have to punch him in the face. You could just tap him a little bit. Get yourself a deal, you know, and then make some money. I can put you in touch with uh, Vacation Rental Services here in town if you're curious about that, if you want to do some research. Uh, it's best that you do your own research rather than me doing it. Uh, I can put you in touch with the guy at the city that I talked to, told me that the zoning was okay, all that kind of stuff. But uh, you know how to get a hold of me, Scott Taylor. Um, call me, hit me up, 805-540-4825. We'll see you on the next one. This is the opportunity of the week, the deal of the week, we'll say. See ya.